good morning students welcome to virtual lab so today we will see how to make a single machine infinite bus system for transient and small signal stability analysis using matlab thinking as experiment 5 in our testing five laboratory power system so as you know we learn how to use matlab simulink in this lab so this is the last experiment in this lab so open the matlab and simulink so from the library we will search what we need so if you see the circuit diagram the matlab simulink equivalent model for the snmb system so we have two circuit diagrams with one is with uh, integral controller and uh, another one is without controller so as you know stability is the main problem which electrical engineers go through in power system so whenever there will be a change of load sudden change in the load there will be increase and decrease of the frequency so we have to stabilize this frequency within a particular range by because if the frequency is not maintained within the range there may be a chance of blackout so this control by which we will control this frequency is generally known as load frequency control so this experiment is included in this lab as a introductory experiment to understand so how will be the frequency variation if there is no control in the system so here we will make a simple system using transfer function models that is uh, equivalent mathematical model so for this first we will take the transfer function so a simple simple transfer function we will add to a new model we need a summer point and we need a scope and we need a step function to simulate the variation of load we need a gate and we need some more black so using this we can construct a simple circuit we'll take a transfer function 
into k summing point and uh, scope gain block you can reverse the gain by selecting the con by pressing control r you can change the direction of the gain and here also we can change the signals with so here first i need the minus and then plus and blank blank you can take with by shift by uh, pressing shift and uh, the forward slash so now to make copy of the control press control and drag the transfer function back So here I am taking the frequency and I am giving back. I am using a feedback control signal here. So this is governor equivalent. So we will take it as. 1 by 2x plus 1. So here change it to 2 and here it is turbine equivalent. So we will take it as 1 by 5x plus 1. Turbine transfer function, and this is our system inertia, or you can say the generator output. System inertia, so that we can take it as one by ten s s eight. Um, change in load we will consider a change of load uh, 1% so 1% means final values will be 0 0.01 and gain we are taking here it is 20 Now we have to compare the input with this uh, output. So reference we have to take from the output. So what we will do, we will delete this and we will take the summing point here. And
and take the simulation time here as 200 seconds so now save the file and uh, run it so that you can see the output here so this is our So if you don't get like this, if you get a straight line or something, please uh, go for auto scale. You will get, you can see the output like this. So this is without any controller. Here we are not using any controller. So we want to see the effect of uh, a integral controller. How will be this if you use a integral controller? So, just uh, take this, just move it, go up and uh, you can paste here. So, We can shift all the components at a one time also by selecting all the components. So here what we will do, we will take a integral controller, a gain and we need a integral controller. So so one by s we will take so change the direction and we will take the output and we will compare so Here we will take a gain of 7 so now we can save and we can see the output we running it. So by simulating this, we can see the output separately with and without integral controller or we can make a, a single scope to observe the difference. So if you see the outputs, you can observe that here without integral controller, it will not come to steady state. So there will be a steady state error. But with integral controller, you will get a uh, smooth output without any uh, steady state error. Thank you for watching. You can make a simple, simple circuit by connecting this much also you can observe. So like this so this is the output without integral controller and this is the output with integral controller thank you very much